Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to Knock Knock. Whoa! Wow! What? Hey! That's a problem! That's kind of an issue, man! Bong! <laughs> Are you not seeing this? Use your telescope to look outside? Oh, the guests almost never kill. They only bring you back because you haven't finished yet. Okay. You talking about how when they find me- Oh, someone is staring at me from outside constantly. What do you want? What? Is there something wrong with me? Maybe. Maybe. You talking about the gigantic giant that's staring from outside? You talking about that guy? Big guy? Kinda big. He's big? Got horns? I can see you. Where are you? Who are you talking to, man? Who are you talking to? So anyway. Help me! What do you mean? What was that? What just happened? Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, okay, all right, so that's how you're gonna- oh. He lost me when I was very little, and then he lost his mind, he stopped seeing me. Ooh, I heard footsteps in the house! Someone closed the door. Maybe I should check the entrance just one more time to make sure it's locked tight. Are you telling me to actually do that? Because I'll do it. I'll do whatever you say, man. Just don't murder me, Horib. Is it locked tight? The first time- what? First time we learned about the program was in the fall, about six months after the unrest. They described it as a community initiative. Most of the tenants gathered in the courtyard of our complex. No one knew what was going on. Everyone was shouting, worried, and guessing what will come next. All kinds of rumors. It came down- what? Were the pages just waiting at the front door? They would be removing children as if- from unfit parents. For what purpose? Who knew? But against the backdrop of everything our government had done and justified in the recent years, the outlook was most sinister. At point I decided to grab my son and escape the city to the middle of nowhere. First news about the program. First the summon arises. Arrives and they announce the gathering, usually at a school. Then the door knockers come. Young bastards like volunteers wearing some party insignia. They go through the complex with lists and check who shows up and who doesn't. I'm not the only one to getting ch clever. Everyone is getting ready to leave for somewhere. We've already been given another family's furniture to look after. Everything is changing. Parents are hiding their kids with other people. So now we have two more. I don't leave my child's side for even a minute. Even in my sleep, I hold his head. The other children sleep with us too. It's crowded. The world is falling apart. Seems to me the situation is headed for civil war. I had a nightmare that our turn came. We were led to the school, shoved into what used to be the gym. My son and I sat in a cell with a small barred window. I tried to push him through the opening. From the other side came shouts that any kid they catch would be taken unconditionally. There is no suffering worse than this feeling of helplessness. It's past the time when I should leave this apartment, but concern for the children stops me. Stumbling around like a sleepwalker, I don't recognize a thing. They took the little ones. I haven't seen them for at least two days. I suddenly found another child in a corner. Whose is it? No one knows. It sits in the corner, wrapped up in a blanket. Doesn't show his face, doesn't say a word. Sometimes I think it may be a girl. I won't drink anymore. All I can think about is my little invisible one. Doesn't eat or speak. I'm not pressing. Don't even want to watch. Let it keep playing hide and seek. The child is like clothes in the nut with nothing inside. Doesn't take food. But all those kids, they forage for themselves. Somehow, little by little, they've learned to look after themselves. Most likely, all I need to do now is just love her, and eventually she'll show herself. Maybe it's a boy after all. It started to make little noises from inside his blanket cocoon. Odd squeaks and croaks. It still turns away, but at least now it's reacting to me. It seems like it really is- it's really invisible. It tries to reach out and touch me from time to time, but there are no hands there. Only emptiness. Maybe she escaped from the program. Is that what they're doing to our kids? I shouldn't be thinking about it. I don't want to. Found the bedding on the invisible bed. It crumpled and tossed as if in disgust. I gently asked why. It only creaked out something. 
the, about how the bed smells bad. It took it out for a walk. I took it out for a walk. It's a dry autumn, lots of scents in the air. We pick berries and leaves, and I ask which smells it liked. Silence. It accepts nothing, and then it lets me know that it wants to get something to show me. I let it go. The city is almost deserted now. Why not let it run around for a bit? There is no child in the house, but on the bed I found what it brought back for me. Strange selection. A few shriveled maple leaves all mixed up with wet dirt as if scooped them up from the ground in cupped hands and carried them home folded in its clothes. Now all these rags have been washed, have to be washed, whether I want to or not. I'll have to see what's in hidden, hidden inside. But I think I can already guess. We became strangely close in the weeks that we spent together. Okay, that's all of them. Wow. I guess I was supposed to find those before- What? Huh? Nope! Okay, I'm gonna ring the bell! It is- it's- if the measurements aren't lying, then these are not hallucinations. These footprints are real, and they're not mine. But who can know for sure? After all, this equipment is old. If you say so, man! But then again, you say a lot of things that I don't particularly agree with. Here, vroom, 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 come out. What? Okay, so, apparently, according to those notes, there was some child uh, testing program for some experimentation snaz going on that the whole government was behind and wasn't good. Probably was not good. Probably wasn't any good. Just gonna say that right now. Probably was no good. Oh, hang on, wait, let me- WHY IS THERE A NOOSE IN THAT ROOM?! THERE WAS A NOOSE THERE! Oh, hi. Stop opening and closing my door. If you would please, would you kindly not do that? I SEE SOMETHING PEEKING OVER THE RIDGE OVER THERE! It's not here either. WHAT'S NOT HERE?! WHAT'S NOT?! WHAT IS NOT HERE?! STOP BANG BANG BANGING! Alright, seriously, why is there a noose in this room? I've never seen this room before in my life. I don't know. Every- every life is given only so much time. When you look at the clock, you think about how long you have left. It's the best to chase these thoughts away. Once you think of something terrible, it can come true. If you say so. Door! Open! Yep. Okay. Let's go outside, I guess. That's a great idea. Great idea. Well, I guess. All right. So I found out a lot more about the backstory. So this kid has been living alone. I don't know if he's still a kid anymore or not. Sorry. Yeah, sure. But I've already had this dream, and not too long ago. The hour is at hand. It's time to get ready to leave. Okay. Okay. What is that? What is that? What is that now? What are we looking at? What am I looking at? There's little cracks forming. Seriously, there's little cracks forming around the edges of my vision. What's going on? It's getting bigger! What? I don't know! What do you want from me? What do you want from me? I don't know what's going on. I need to find this girl. Wait, I see something! What is that? Oh. Was that the box head? Oh, is that the box head here? Get out of here. Oh, that fought back. Oh, no, that encroached the darkness. That probably wasn't a good thing. Ah, uh, ah, uh, little girl. Little girl. Wait. Ah, another box head. Okay, don't, don't run into the box heads. I shouldn't have run in. That's not a good little girl. Need to find the little girl before it's too late. It's almost too late. Ooh. You're a not! You're not a little girl. You you aren't either, you boxhead bastard. Shut up, boxhead, you dumb bastard. Get out of here. Get out of here! Okay, so there are boxheads and leavey things all over the place, and my vision is not doing so well, and I get a weird crack at the top of my bar. Uh I just see leaves things and I don't hear any voices! Ah, what am I doing? Wait. 
Hello? Was that... Was that actually a little girl? I don't think that actually was a little girl. No. Gotta be getting closer! Come on! Where the hell is she? Where is she? I found her so easily before! Ah! God damn it! I ran right into that! Fuck, snotters! I'm gonna go insane. I hope this doesn't end in game over if I do. That would suck! I probably just have to loop back the same day again. Oh, come on. <gasps> Damn it! I ran right into him! I swear, I've got- I've got this- I got this headlight, or uh, light on my face. It causes a glare right on the right edge of my screen, so... Oh, that's not good. The bloodshot in my vision has turned- I dodged those guys. The bloodshot on my vision is starting to turn red. I still haven't found the little girl. I'm still... Confused, but okay. That's why it's forbidden to leave the shelter of the house. One falls prey to the madness in the woods. If you say so, but- OH! OH! GAME OVER! CONTINUE, PLEASE! Thank you! God, I'm not ready to game over yet! Gimme Gabba Gagooby! Alright, whatever. Don't tell me that you don't- AH! Wait, hang on. I have- I need to reread these, I guess. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh god, I'm gonna- I'm gonna zoom past this. Excuse me. I'm- I'm- I'll be back in a second. Battle! Battle! No! Who's knocking, knock, knocking at my door? Help me! Okay, we're outside again. Now, we need to very carefully- Uh-oh, we don't have the house as a landmark anymore. I'm gonna go left because then I can see what's in front of me and I don't run into anything. We're gonna hurry! We're not gonna run into any monsters, we're not gonna do anything that would harm us. We're just gonna go, and we're gonna be fine, and we're gonna find this little girl by the sound of her voice. I learned that, that you can find her just by her singing, but I gotta go until I hear her singing. Actual singing, not the fakey fakey singing. Or it's just gonna be utter silence. How about that? How about that? That's good too. No thank you. I saw that! I saw you a mile away. That's her! That's a little girl! I got her! Yeah! Oh. Say what now? Do what now? What's going on? MC Escher up in this bitch! Okay. I guess. Good. Alright! We did it! Now we gotta find the house before we go insane. Can we do it? No, we can't! Maybe! I don't know. I'm not very committed to this decision, but whatever. It's a possibility that we can find the house, but, you know, I wouldn't bank on it. Uh, I'm never gonna be able to find it because... Okay. Oh, I'm not gonna find the house in time and I'm gonna inside. I see you there! Who said that? Who said what now? Who said huh? Speak up. What? I see you, shrimpy little bastard over there. Wait, no. Okay, thought I saw something maybe hiding behind the silhouette of that tree. I don't want to take any risks. I found the little girl, I gotta get back home! Shut up. Shut up! I want to find my house, and that's all. I want to go home. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to find home in time. Oh, come on! Where's my house? Oh, where's my house? Oh, where's my house? Where's my ding dong damn house? Where's my house? Where's my house? Where's the house? Where's the freaking house? Where's the house, bruh? Where's the house? I'm running out of time. I got maybe a minute. Oh, where's the house? I see you there. Ah, no, ah, ah, there we go. I see you there. I see you there. God dang it. Come on. 
Where's the freaking house? Where's the house? Ah, I'm gonna go outside. Oh, where's the house? Come on. Where's the freaking house? Oh, where's the oh, no, you don't. Oh, you were hiding there. You ain't gonna get me. Oh, come on. Where's the house? Where's the house? Don't tell me this is how I'm beaten. I'm freaking beaten because I can't find the freaking house. God damn it. God damn it. Oh, this is stupid. No. No. Ah, 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 I found the house. Oh, don't run into anyone on the way there. Oh, Shabuski. Right as it was turning red. Oh, I got you. Oh, 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 oh. And looks like we've entered another dream world. Oh, what's with the large crack at the top of my screen? Here with Dingo and the baby. All right. Whoa, that's a different noise. It's coming after me in real life while I'm sleeping and playing here. I need to get ready quickly, if you say so. I have no time to waste on games or guests anymore. Anyhow, they only want to keep me inside. Oh, I'll try to try. I'll have to try twice as hard to avoid them. It's easy. Just stop thinking about them. So you were playing games this whole time, eh? That's effed up, man. Okay. So anyway, I'm all out of time, but thank you all so much for watching. This is getting really interesting. <laughs> and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. Hopefully. Okay, um, anyway, uh, as a- <laughs> Okay, so, um, uh, it seems like the game has become fully unstable here. Sorry, I don't know, my objective is still the same, but some of the- The trees seem to be popping in and out, um, probably some problem with the optimization of the game, in terms of loading the grass.